Harbridge LLC resonant converter has two MOSFETs, which switch on and switch off alternately, and provide sufficient power at the output. During switching, these MOSFETs go into zero voltage switching only because of this resonant circuit, which makes the circuit more efficient and less electromagnetically noisy. Let's see how this circuit works. Understanding the working of the Harbridge LLC resonant circuit is very easy if you look at it from a basic perspective. These resonant inductors and capacitor are just charging and discharging at a particular time and transfers the energy which determines the fate of current flow and helps to achieve soft switching. The working of this Harbridge LLC resonant converter that we are about to see is purely based on my interpretation, experience and references. If you find something fishy, let's talk about that in the comment section. If you want to learn more about such topics, then please subscribe to my channel. Before we start the working, we need to keep some important things in mind, which are, in the circuit, current can flow in both directions from a single component provided that component should support bidirectional current flow. There are two types of individual currents flowing inside the primary side of the circuit, which are load current that flows from the transformer primary and magnetizing current which flows to the parallel resonant inductor LM. MOSFET Q1 and Q2 turn on one after another and they have substantial dead time between them in order to avoid cross conduction. And finally, this magnetizing current never stops flowing during the operation, even during the dead time. Now, let's see the working of this converter. We'll divide its operation into multiple parts and understand how this converter behaves. Initially, let's consider that we turn on MOSFET Q1 and Q2 is off. This time, Current flows to the Q1 and the voltage across it starts decreasing. The input current gets divided to the parallel resonant inductor as magnetizing current and primary side of the transformer as load current. The sum of these currents then flows to the resonant capacitor. During this time, the resonant capacitor charges and resonance between LR and CL starts. Due to this resonant circuit, the current flowing through the primary increases. On the secondary side, the voltage induces due to electromagnetic induction, so the current starts flowing through the output diode D1, providing power to the load. Due to the resonant circuit LR and CR, the primary winding load current has a sinusoidal waveform. The MOSFET current and load current increases and reaches to its peak value at time T1. The load current decreases after time T1 and it follows a sinusoidal path. It reaches to zero at time T2 and it happens because the resonant elements are no longer resonating. At time T2, the power transmission stops from the primary to the secondary, but the magnetizing current keeps on flowing to the inductor LM. As there is no power transmission, Still some amount of current flows to the resonant circuit and charges this resonant capacitor. If you see the drain current of the MOSFET Q1, the waveform clearly shows that it is the sum of both magnetizing current and load current. At time T3, the LM charges to its peak value. Now we turn off the MOSFET Q1 and MOSFET Q2 is already off. This is the dead time period where both the MOSFETs are turned off. As we know, every MOSFET has intrinsic parasitic capacitances. And we also know the magnetizing current never stops flowing. So even though there is a dead time, the magnetizing current flows to the same direction. Because of that, the VDS of the MOSFET Q1 increases as the parasitic capacitance across it is charging and VDS of the MOSFET Q2 decreases as the parasitic capacitance across it is discharging. So flow of current would be like this in the circuit. 
As you can see, the voltage across Q2 has decreased to zero at time T4 even before it turns on. By the time T4, the charging and discharging of these parasitic capacitances have been completed. But this magnetizing current is quite stubborn, so it continues to flow in the same direction. Well, the Q1 and Q2 both are off. So this constant current finds a different path, so it flows to the body diode of the MOSFET Q2 till time T5. Now we turn on MOSFET Q2 at time T5. The voltage across it is zero. This resonant capacitor is fully charged. It acts as a power source and provides a sufficient power to the primary winding and eventually the secondary of the converter through electromagnetic induction. The current will flow in the opposite direction and diode D2 gets forward biased. But the magnetizing current keeps on flowing to the resonant inductor in the same direction and it keeps on decreasing. So if you see this Q2 current waveform, it is in a negative direction and increases gradually. At time T6, the MOSFET is completely turned on and just like the previous cycle from T0 to T1, the load current flows in the circuit and magnetizing current flows in the opposite direction until time T7 and resonance starts again. At time T7, the polarity of the magnetizing current changes its direction and capacitor forces the current in the opposite direction. The resonance between LR and CR terminates and the load current goes to zero at time T8. This time only magnetizing current flows to the inductor and this current reaches to negative peak value. At time T9, the MOSFET Q2 is off so the magnetizing inductor forces the current to flow in the same direction. Because of that, the VDS of the MOSFET Q1 decreases, discharging the parasitic capacitance and VDS of the MOSFET Q2 increases as the parasitic capacitance across it is charging up to input voltage. So the voltage across MOSFET Q1 goes to zero at time T10. The charging and discharging of these parasitic capacitances of MOSFET Q1 and Q2 is completed. But still, the magnetizing current wants to flow through the inductor as it still has some energy left in it. So this time, the current will flow through the body diode of the MOSFET Q1. Well, no matter what, this current will find a path. This time, the magnetizing current keeps on flowing to the same direction and we turn on the MOSFET Q1. So the magnetizing current flows in the same direction and load current starts flowing from the input supply, MOSFET, inductor LR, primary winding of the transformer and to the resonant capacitor, which starts charging the resonant capacitor. Now from time T12, the same cycle of time T1 starts again. So this cycle repeats one after another. If you check out this waveform carefully, the zero voltage switching of the MOSFET Q2 is achieved during time T3 to T5, where MOSFET voltage goes to zero and after that only, during the turn on, the drain current starts to flow. And zero voltage switching of MOSFET Q1 is achieved during time T9 to T11. Well, that's how a half bridge LLC resonant converter works. I'm grateful to all those viewers who support me with super thanks. It means a lot. If you have any queries, you can ask me in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel because these videos take a lot of time for creation and editing. And finally, thank you so much for watching.